Hi Collective, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal, a psychic medium here delivering messages to you from the higher realms. So welcome in everyone. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. All right, everyone. So we're getting into this energy of 3-3. Three, three. Now, all my readings are timeless, but they're more fun if you catch them in real time. Know that as I always let you know what's going on with the cosmic alignments, with the fun energy that's coming through. So currently, we are feeling this new moon in Pisces energy. This was a supercharged, super new moon that we had in the sign of Pisces. So this is very beautiful. A super new moon is has to do with the proximity to Earth. So we feel it very strongly, even though we can't see it because it's a new moon. It's still felt very, very strong, right? And with it being in this watery emotions of Pisces, there it was a very, very powerful um, new moon to really be bringing up emotions and feelings but really getting you into this creative energy to really create right and so um you you could actually be be getting like um like a lot of like fantasies daydreaming really dreamy type of energy right as i'm calling this like the fantasy floodgates are open right because we're feeling this strong new moon energy intensified with now this three three portal energy because I'm recording this on the third, on the 12th of March, which is really a three in numerology, three, three, because you add them together, right? One, two, three. So we're filling this portal energy, right? So I went ahead and I started pulling cards, right? Because I was meditating on the energy, starting to get my messages and downloads for today. So yeah, and they were just flooding in. So much is coming in, right? So I've already pulled some cards because I feel I waste a lot of time in the readings and maybe lose a lot of you while I'm shuffling and things like that and connecting. So anyway, I'm going to start doing this where I'm the cards that I pull in my meditation beforehand, I'm going to leave them out and then I'll just pull new cards from the decks live when I'm recording them, right? Okay, I don't know why I felt to explain that. <laughs> All right, so, um, but this is definitely where higher levels of consciousness are being, re are being reached at this time because a lot of you, these emotions and feelings that have been creating blockages and wounds you're fi are finally coming up and you're releasing and you're letting them go because... It has to do with the evolution, right? And it's all collectively starting to finally release these woundings and these things that have been blocking us, letting go of fear. Because you know, it's like we've reached the maximum level, I feel, <laughs> within this world of fear where it's finally like, you know what? Like, I've reached the level. Like, you know what? And when my time's up, my time's up. Like, that, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Like, kind of like um, they scared everyone so much with like the viruses and everybody wearing masks and scared to go out you know what I mean and after all that isolation it's fine like you know what I'm just <sighs> I'm gonna go out anywhere whatever that that's what I mean I kind of feel like um it's actually us coming together um supporting one another starting to realize that we are not alone and starting to kind of break the matrix but I'm not going to get too far into that Right, so this has to do with um, your destiny timelines, right? So I'm working first with the Sacred Light Oracle, as I always pull this deck whenever there's higher levels of ascension being reached, and collectively, as we do that, we all can, because <laughs> we're all really interconnected. So as more people awaken and reach higher levels within their mind, it allows others to do that. So. For a lot of you, it's like these woundings were blocking these things out. So higher levels of consciousness are being are being reached, and we're unlocking parts of our um, destiny at this time, right? So this really dreamy energy that's coming in is very beautiful. So for a lot of you, energy attachments came out. So for a lot of you, you had different things that were blocking you from expressing your emotions and your feelings, right? See how he looks like he's unlocked his throat not throw my cards in this reading <laughs> I knocked my container cards over <laughs> I got so excited in the energy like a uh, last portal I believe all right so anyway see how he's like unlocking his throat portal because he's able to express his emotions and his feelings right I feel for some of you it's like maybe you had these passions these dreams these desires from when you were a child and somebody put you down right said that that's not obtainable or something like that where it created a wounding where you thought you weren't good enough it wasn't a good idea and it's like you're breaking free from that now this is someone's like you know what i felt this way you know i've had the criticism and i'm gonna do it anyway you know what i mean and and you're actually healing that wounding right so for a lot of you you're finally starting to be expressive you're starting to to create those boundaries and things like that um but it's actually allowing you to reach higher levels of consciousness right so it's very beautiful 
Um, so a lot of you, it was self-sabotaging, self-sabotaging like thoughts and belief systems, right? Um, worthiness I'm getting is a big one. So for a lot of you, this this supercharged emotion, it, it, it's going in alignment with like what you're what you're feeling these woundings it's it's like it's like it has to happen in phases it's like you when you release these emotions and feelings and then you're feeling this dreamy energy to create i hope i'm explaining this frequency very well so temple of mary came out to emotional expression playful innocence innocence and exploitation these cards too can activate you as they have sacred geometry within them so even looking at them feeling this um this blue energy to coming out can be very freeing, right? So something can activate within you because that's how portals work. Portals and gateways. As I'm one of the gatekeepers, I help anchor the energies that come through these portals and these gateways. And by me holding the frequency, it allows you to be able to get this frequency and this healing because light codes that come through within these portals and these gateways, they activate within us, right? And they cause these higher levels of consciousness to be able to receive but it's like when there's these emotional blockages and wounds a lot of times they, they hold it's like you get those codes but they can't integrate until you release right it's like it creates a blockage so for a lot of you it's like these can happen after these woundings right sometimes it's like some of these things where maybe i explain it in spring for you and you unlock it and then these integrations happen so it's like for a lot of you, even after receiving my downloads and messages, right? And for some of you, it's the, I give a lot of healing out through my voice, through my words, through my synchronicities, through the messages, through spirit, I'm told. So definitely watch my full readings, right? Even if you don't feel that they're making sense to you, it can be something energetically that's happening that you may feel different. You may feel relieved. You may feel all sorts of that as I am a shaman too. So I give a lot of healing and things like that just through different things that I do with them. My readings so to do a color frequency too. I'm guided to certain colors and things like that. That's going to give you healing throughout my videos, right? So you can be guided. To, I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling to explain all this. They're wanting me to do this for you, right? Maybe for some of you, have you ever been like where you're watching something and you don't know why you're watching it? It doesn't even make sense to you. I guess it's for some of you um, that click off or something. I don't know. They want you to keep watching through, right? So something is going to be very freeing, like I said, in certain cards and things like that. The sacred geometry that's within them can unlock certain things, right, for you. So for a lot of you, you're unlocking some sort of wounding, right? Something is being unlocked for you. And then this integration is going to happen, all right? So for a lot of you too, mm, very beautiful. With these higher levels of ascensions, you're getting new soul family members that are coming in. Spirit guides are here with you. For some of you, you're like you're getting new spirit guides that are bringing in new opportunities for you because as you elevate your frequency, you bring in new, you're putting off a new vibration. So then you bring in new opportunities, you bring in new family members and friends and experiences and things like that um so you have higher levels right um that are guiding you for a lot of you there's something to do with past life you could be coming into contact and alignment with past life situations like for some of you you could be getting guided to move or go somewhere where you were in like a past life and it's going to it's going to activate something it's kind of like you get like a do-over or you get to build off of that it's like for some of you like like let me give it for instance like maybe you wanted to be some sort of entertainer right because they're showing me this right this past life and he's you know has an instrument here right maybe for some of you like you tried to make it right and like maybe you went to la or new york city or something like that and you wanted to do something and like it didn't work out for you and i mean like this is like in a past life so it's like you're getting guided back there in this lifetime and when you get there and you're in that familiar it's kind of like the deja vu feeling like but you're integrating your it's like it remembers like soul remembrance remembrance I, I was downloading a lot this morning about water memory and about the frequency of water and i actually i believe i shared it on my facebook as i tell a lot of you you should follow my facebook because i share a lot of things to a lot of the groups and things like that that i'm that i'm within um, but I was investigating a lot about water memory and, um, you know, and what all water holds, right? And that's why it's very, very important to infuse with water and to stay, you know, flourished with water. And there's something to do with different areas and, and the water. There's something with that, right? Anyway, some sort of integration is going to happen. It has to do with you consuming water with where you're at. I don't know. 
something's coming through for somebody or for a message. So it's something's going to happen when you're in a specific place that you were before. Something is going to unlock here. So, um, so look for signs, philosophical discussion, supervision, this very dreamy energy. And this is like a very opportune time I'm hearing to do this. So if you're feeling to take a vacation or travel, I know that we're in spring break. So maybe this is happening for a lot of you, like me, because I'm getting like vacation vibes. Like this is going to unlock something, right? Maybe it's going to trigger some sort of move, some sort of change. Maybe you're going to be meeting like you're, cause you get aligned with people and places and things that can unlock things for you it's like sometimes you get guided somewhere by mistake but it's really meant for you to meet somebody or for you to integrate something so pay attention to signs frequencies for a lot of you you're getting aligned look at this they show me the yin yang symbol this is really really important for pieces coming together this is a very very opportune time for sacred unions this is the year of that where divine unions are commencing, are coming together, and the love that they anchor into this planet, it ripples out, and um, it's felt like, and it has to do with the energetic frequency of Earth, where it's elevating everybody when these twins come together. And when they align, it's not just when they come together, but it's when they align, right? There's, there's very, very powerful integration, and that's a very big thing that's happening, too. Because for a lot, there's been emotional woundings and blockages that have been blocking the divines from coming together. I've been getting a lot of divine masculine energy out too. So there's a really big healing within divine masculines um, that, are, that are healing some sort of wounding and it's worthiness because they've been blocking a lot of it within their um, ego. Having that, it's something to do with that. They're, they're learning to be more compassionate with themselves. See, I have the divine masculine card. Well, we're going to get into the cards. All right. So I'm here. So ascension, flame, liberation, a sense of greater purpose and high expectations is coming out. So ascension flame is here and divine creation, acceptance, personal commitments and euphoria. See, this divine creation energy is just coming out. Like you're going to feel like this, this really beautiful energy when you when you know that you're pursuing you like your passions your dreams and desires for those of you that are like you know that feeling that you have it's like your soul is is um like if you ever okay for those of you that um trying to explain how how to explain this frequency it's like you know your body it's like um I don't want to say like an orgasm, <laughs> but it's like a, like you feel your, your whole body like lights up when you're really, truly aligned with like your divine passion, your creation, like what you're supposed to be doing. Like for those of you that are in like the music, so I'm getting this strong singing vibe, like creating something with music. It's like when you feel complete at one with like what you're doing, like your soul is just like, it lights up. Like you, I think it's like, because energy is radiating from like all of your chakra systems. And it's like the, the energy that is put out, it's just felt. And, and there's something, uh, there's something to do with that. Let me close the door here. So you're going to know whatever this is. I'm getting really big like creation and talent vibes. And I, every time I look at this card, it feels like he's singing. I'm getting this energy of like um, Ariel. You know when like the sea witch had her voice, right? Her voice box locked up or whatever. And you know, it's like when she starts singing and then it's like all that energy comes back and she elevates. Like that's what I'm feeling is going to happen there's like it looks like he's getting his voice back like you're gonna know when this happens whatever this is it's like you're gonna feel so free um and you're just gonna know like oh that's it I, I, I don't care what anybody says that felt so good when I was pursuing that or doing this or whatever it is and you're not gonna let anybody stop you evolution of spirit and it's actually like you're elevating your your spirit your soul your it's very, very beautiful. It's like opening up Pandora's box I'm getting. Once you open it, you can't close Pandora's box. <laughs> no, you can't. So whatever blockages, right? For some of you, these energy attachments too get me like 
you know, like demonic um, vibes, things like that. For some of you, it could have been dark, dark entities that were attached to you, right? It's like at a certain level and frequency, like they fall off. Once a wounding is healed, they can't attach themselves to you anymore. So there's this big um, healing of when you finally let go of a wounding because when you have woundings it kind of leaves doorway it leaves the door open for like devil and demons to be able to come through and control your mind right i was thinking a lot about that too people don't realize when they're being controlled by an entity when something gets you in a dark vibration and kind of keeps you there it's an entity but once you release it that's why once you're being grateful and thankful for things that you have you release it you know it's like you ever think like why do people like to be in a dark energy or, or sad mad depressed who likes to be in that right why do we get stuck and staying in those energies because they don't feel good right and then bad things happen to you you break things you lose things you you know you're unhappy you're miserable who wants to be in those energies nobody really wants to be but it's these dark attachments right they kind of take over our mind and kind of stick us get us stuck right so but you have to break the pattern of that but this is like somebody where it's like you know, it's like kind of like secrets are being exposed. And that's what I'm getting to. For some of you, it's like a secret's going to be exposed. Maybe it embarrassed you before. But now it's going to come out and you're just going to be like, you know, whatever. Well, it feels so much better to have the secret out. Now people can't use it against me. Some sort of wounding is getting healed here. And when this happens, devil don't have access to you anymore. Now the demons can't get in your head and puppeteer you and cause you to be harmful to yourself or others, things like that. People don't realize that. So be grateful and thankful. That's why if you really want to heal somebody when they're in a very, very dark energy, show them love and light, right? That's what you do. Elevate them. Because we're all connected here. We all are one. We really are. So you've got to not think bad thoughts, people. It's just they have to get these dark energies out of them. And a lot of times it's just due to woundings. They have some sort of wounding. That's why the people hurt people hurt people. That's why the people that get into these energies, they need the most healing of all. They're being controlled by entities, things like that, and they don't even realize it. All right. So that's what I was getting. Look, like energy, medicine, sensuality, devotion, celestial fertility, and deep rest. And you are the channel. I told you deja vu, self-fulfilling prophecy. So powerful. I got some powerful people being guided to this channel. Let me tell you what. As my platform, look, did you see the yin yang card? My platform, my channel is for chosen light workers, earth angels, star sea. As I've been told, they're going to be using my channel in the future for so many to heal from this. But we're really going to be healing where we all are saving this world, this earth, this planet, right? As we're all elevating and things like that. So right we're, we're so it, it's very beautiful right like if you think of it like as we are all angels here it's just a lot of us you know are fallen angels or dark workers things like that you know don't realize that we're being controlled oh we had a moon card here the void yeah so this is coming out so um did I mix in the cards? I did. <laughs> I didn't even talk about the Queen of the Moon cards yet. I had pulled some three, right? So just release, release, right? And like if you're here at this time, this is a very, very powerful time to be here. As we all chose to be here, to incarnate here at this time, right? Just some of us are so far lost, caught up in the matrix in the world that we've lost our way, right? Okay. So, look, I shuffled the deck and went right back to spirit guides and showing me that yin-yang symbol again. I told you, this is about integration. This is about coming back together. Ha, <laughs> look, told you, this is such a powerful time. See those yin-yang symbols, right? So this is a really beautiful time to surrender all of those things that have been holding you back. For some of you, I'm getting like, you don't need closure. And that's been a big thing, is you're realizing that you can heal yourself without having closure, without waiting for someone to be sorry and apologize to you or you know or come speak something to you it's a very very powerful thing because you're healing yourself when you do that and you're not waiting for somebody to come heal you or come save you or or replace something you're fully pouring that love into yourself right which causes integration look temple path we're going to our highest timelines 
you're everyone's starting to pursue their soul calling see we are all in are meant to be individual pursuing our passions our dreams desires not all conforming to certain things we're all supposed to be free and this is about freeing our souls and not being controlled by the matrix and by fear and money greed and all of that right so this is a very powerful time see purifying with creation came out that's why i said you're going to be set free when you let go of these wounds and these strongholds right that the devil's been having access to through some sort of woundings and for a lot of you you don't realize that you have woundings around money and that and they've taught us that right within the matrix right that your bracket that you're in that's what you can obtain you know to your level right the school system teaches you right your your brains for, is for your your gpa level for what jobs you can you know what i mean like oh don't get me started on that <laughs> right no so this very purifying energy that's, that's what i mean for some of you it, it's been in like it's you're freeing something right that's been i feel just like um engraved into your mind your memory whatever for like a lot of you like um poverty mi mindset or, or a lack mentality or something like um you just didn't feel that you were worthy of that you're worthy of it for some of you like you didn't feel that you your talents your skills your abilities could provide for you right or something like that but some sort of wounding is being healed here and then creation and for a lot of you like you're just you're surrendering all of that pain right you're surrendering it to the void you're not letting it affect you anymore all right all right so i kept feeling to pull the energy cards as i always do right for these portals these gateways and i love that i pulled the sacred light that means there's definitely ascensions which they've been getting more and more powerful with these portals and these activations. See, we're going to be feeling this strong, a new moon energy for an entire week. So we're feeling it from March 10th through March 17th, right? 12 or 20 to 21, 22, 22 are universal source code numbers, right? Is that is the light language is through numbers. Can you see that? It just keeps coming out. Yin, yang, yin, yang. And uh -huh, the man, the magician, and the mirror. That's one of the most powerful cards in this deck. It's when you're truly being an alchemist, when you are blending your divine passion, your fire with your love. Look at that. Masculine and feminine energies creating a balance. The door to personal healing and happiness is here. Look, blossoming abundance. All of this is coming in right door to spirit look at all these doors are open spirit is definitely guiding you to your blossoming abundance like i said for a lot of you like you're you're obtaining higher vibrational soulmates 2313 um your your spirit team is guiding you to freedom to happiness right because for a lot of you maybe you were disconnected because the devil had some sort of hold over you see the deceit card came out reversed right which i want to look up the reverse meaning of this but i would assume it's letting go right um reverse this card um puts on notice that deceit of the past is over or about to end yes perhaps some enemy at work is being dissolved or maybe a more open communication has developed in your personal life be assured that the negative and dishonest energy is on its way out and take advantage of new peaceful and open environments one where you will be able to forge more success and greater comfort on a deeper level, this card reverse is telling you that a period of self-deceit is over. You are now ready to see the abiding truth of your own value, power, and deserving. It may take continued effort, but your honesty with yourself regarding these truths will bring even greater value into your life. Look at that. See, I can't make it up. I told you, this is what's coming in here. And this second chakra, Archangel Ariel is here. Oh my gosh, this is activating your sacral chakra, which is all about creation. If you think about your sacral, right? It's tied to like your sexual energy, right? If you think about that, when you engage in sexual energy, right? It's for creating a, a life, right? A baby, right? As women hold this very powerful portal gateway that brings life through right and it's like when you channel that energy into a creative project what it can create and birth 
right? That's why it's like for a lot of you, like if you hold back your energy, but you pour it into a passion project, right? It's the same thing. That's why the most powerful creators, things like that, they will take these um, vows of celibacy or abstinence or whatever and fully work. That's why a lot of times, like if you really want to create something very quickly and you, ch and you kind of isolate and spend that time to yourself, right? And you're not giving away your powerful creative energy. You can fully put it into your project and pursuit. Like, I mean, isn't that beautiful? And then journey. So for a lot of you, like you're going on a journey, right? And um, spirit <laughs> is taking you there. This is beautiful. So it's very powerful. Sacral chakra I'm getting is getting activated. For some of you, you could have had woundings around that, right? Because um, a lot of things will attach to sacral chakra. Like entities will attach to the sacral to stop that creative thing, right? The, the sexual de demonic energies, right? Those those spirits, those dark spirits attack, attach, right? So getting like soul tie attachments for a lot of you like maybe um it's interesting i always say for some of you for some of you but in this reading i'm saying for a lot of you for a lot of you you need to do like a soul tie clearing right and you can literally do that just by releasing by by reclaiming all of your energy back to yourself because people can create soul ties and binds to you it doesn't always have to be sexual it could be somebody heavily like looks at your pictures or watches your social media and your platforms things like that if somebody's constantly peeping your energy and doing things like that they can create soul ties and binds where they're they're ciphering your energy because it's like you know like where thought goes energy flows so it's one of these things like people can attach these cords and these ties to you like that's why i periodically have to cleanse and clear my energy because like like i'll put my personal experience out there for some of you like i i was recently light working and talking to somebody about this actually the other day is that i have four children right so i have three baby daddies right and so but their entire families are always watching me and my children and stuff because i've been raising my children basically on my own the family hasn't been involved so they watch a lot and they talk a lot in there so they've constantly been creating soul ties and binds in it you know what i mean and that's like three whole entire families right that you know to to their dads to their sisters and brothers and you know parents and aunts and uncle things like that so think about like that's three separate entire families outside of my family that are looking at my platforms and my medias and looking at the kids and things like that not to mention to my kids and their binds and, and you know what i mean so my energy is getting spread thin so far and wide that's why and a lot of it you know when they're pulling on my energy and you do energy exchanges you don't realize that so because we're all interconnected and things like that so when they're talking bad about me things like that like i i feel that and especially being extremely empathic and things like that like that's why i have to isolate a lot and then when i i go play in things like that in your auric field right especially me being a star seed right as i'm constantly transmuting energy right as i you know i'm <laughs> i'm an indigo crystal hybrid right so i I'm constantly extremely empathic, right, and healing, and there, there's just so much different healing things, so it takes me a lot to cleanse and purify my energy constantly, like, that's also why sources told me that, like, my platform has to be isolated, and that's why if you came to an alignment with my reading, with my um, platform, you are very special, right, you need to know that right and especially like if you're one of the <laughs> the people i was talking about god it was i meant it you know all of these contracts that i had with my children's fathers and families like i those contracts were set up by the divine for healing too so i was meant to heal them too and that's a message for some of you like if you think that you know like you got together with karmics and had children and things like that like you had contracts to do that that's why i said for a lot of you like you're healers right that you were meant to heal so that's why they're constantly going to be guided to you and things like that but it's about transmuting that energy it's about healing that energy and just knowing that you you are there healing right that you never come in alignment with people that you're not supposed to there there's so many divine contracts that are set into place for healing and things like that like i remember that that, that used to be something right is i used to be like oh my gosh like <laughs> people are gonna think so bad of me right because i've got you know i've had four children have never been married right and <laughs> three baby daddies all of that right you know and things like that and it, especially with the relationships that i'd had when i was dating and things like that as i had certain connections and things like that um sacred contracts and stuff that i was dealing right so it's really important to cleanse your energy your space right and there's healing um frequencies and meditations 
um, Healing Beyonds, I believe, is the, the um, one of my soul family members that is amazing. And all of his content, oh my gosh, the, 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 the healing, the frequency, you feel it Im immediately upon starting um, the attachments that, that he will take off your chakra systems. It's very, very beautiful. So you should definitely look into those things, but you can always, you know, reclaim your energy, um, things like that. Do cleansing things, right? But you will feel so much better when you start pulling your energy back and, and not spreading it too thin. So it's really important to have healthy boundaries too. Recalling 30, 30, 30 on the clock is a set. It's really important to have time to have it alone, <laughs> right? Because for a lot of you, you replenish and you heal when you have spend time alone, right? And that's when you can be in your own thoughts and your feelings and you actually know what your own feelings and emotions you are. What are yours? Especially if you're highly empathic and highly sensitive as I am. I'm constantly feeling and giving out so much energy. A lot of times I don't even know what's my own energy. Like when I'm feeling sadness or grief or anxiety, I'm like, is that me that's feeling that way? And that's, I'll have to release the energy and then it goes away and things like that. It's like anytime somebody around me is sick or not feeling well, I immediately take on that emotional and we're meant to do that as we are constantly healing, right? Wow. Wow. So for a lot of you, like it's about reclaiming your energy, learning that balance and being this very powerful energy. So for a lot of you, like this is going to like, once you can do this, that's why I was told to tell you to hang out to the end of this reading, because maybe you were got to hear for this, but when you can reclaim your energy, you can fully optimize it. You are going to create, um, like rapidly, like things are just because, because imagine like you didn't know that, right? You don't know how to call your energy back and cleanse it so you're constantly spreading your energy thin that that's why you could be having trouble creating it's just stuff's not growing for you right and for a lot of you these entities that have came through I've, I've been getting a lot about um spiritual spouses for a lot of you you have like spiritual spouses which i've been i I've, i'd already heard that but anyway i've been getting the, the um teaching about that spiritual spouses is like where you are you have a a divine connection where it's like um i don't know why for some of you you have divine spiritual spouses but for some of you like you have dark ones from previous lifetimes where it's like there's been like entities where it's like some people like they went dark it's like say you married a karmic right and they they didn't awaken light or whatever and, and they create a bunch of bad karma and then it's different lifetime but they're still connected to you kind of in a demonic way so they're constantly blocking and not letting things grow in your life because there's attachments because it's due to woundings that you're holding on to from a previous life. It's like, say you have a very big wounding of like abandonment, right? Maybe you have this strong feeling that you're always going to be betrayed and abandoned and cheated on or, you know what I mean? Or things like that. And you don't know why you have that, but you're holding on to that because you, you feel it, right? It's because it's from a previous lifetime where that happened to you right and that person that put you in that energy could have a spiritual contract basically like basically they're still tied to you and they're going to keep imposing that energy on you because it's ultimately sabotaging your destiny in this lifetime in this lifetime it was destined for you to have an amazing lifetime and and to come in alignment with someone that was going to be fully devoted to you and supportive and and everything it's like this is like your dharma like you're good you're like it's supposed to be made up to you right so for some of you like you could even be in alignment with that person but you're not going to see him as that because that spiritual spouse is constantly pulling in your energy trying to get you and and sending those things to you and trying to get you to see somebody as they're not so for some of you, you could be sabotaging connections because of past woundings that you have. For some of you, these spiritual contracts with demonic forces and entities. For some of you, too, there's curses upon your bloodlines. So these demonic, the, the Levithian, the Ahab, Jezebel spirits running rampant throughout these. And I even got in a reading, too. For some of you, it was like a, a parent. Spirit, a parent for some of you like a parent had created a soul tied to you to constantly siphon your energy for their life force kind of getting like that um tangled vibe right right where she isolated she was trying to isolate her her, her daughter it wasn't even her daughter so for some of you you could be finding out that somebody did this that wasn't even like your true parent 
like a, a step parent or foster parent or something like that. For some of you, you could be finding out some deep, super, deep, deep, dark secrets. But for those of you, it was an actual like parent, but it was an entity that was attached to them that was ciphering energy off of you. I don't want to go dark with this, but for some of you, there was some deep sexual trauma that happened when you were a child, right? And that attached these entities and these spirits. And you need to know that it wasn't the family or the friends or whatever that did this. It was the entity that was taking control of their, them, kind of like treating them like a host to kind of force them on, to kind of cause this, to attach these to dark entities. No, that's not for everybody. Don't ever claim energy or messages that I give. Take them as if it's for you, it'll be a confirmation. You'll already feel this or know this. You'll feel it within your spirit if it's for you. All right. So, but it's for you to be able to release this. That's why when you have forgiveness, when you know that you can forgive because it wasn't the actual person, they were being controlled by an entity, it allows you to release it, to let it go, to heal it. To no longer get, let it have access to you. So for a lot of you, by you healing these woundings, you are freeing your bloodlines. You're feeling you're you're freeing your ancestors. Because your ancestors are trapped. <laughs> for a lot of you, they're between worlds, right? Because they kind of form as an alliance to help you close out this karma. This karmic cycle and loop and pattern they've been trapped in. Because you are a product of your ancestors. You are a part of them. And it's like if you had family members and friends and loved ones that were trapped with, with these entities, right? They can't cross over having these entities, right? So when you heal something, because the entities get passed down, right? And for some of you, you know, you have to break ties with them. And by you doing that, you're healing your family bloodline. Because for some of you, there is a divide. So it's all about healing, surrendering to the void. That's what I mean. For some of you, like, these are going to be past loved ones. Passed on loved ones. That forgiveness is needed in healing. That's why surrendering to the void. Things you didn't get to say. So however that is, whether you're talking it out, whether you're writing it out. But you come to, and, I, and the message I was getting through as I was channeling that is that um, for some of you, like when you align with friends, for some of you, it, it has to do with the energetic frequency. There's some sort of healing and trauma, like you trauma bond with friends, families. You, you have different friends that you're meant to trauma bond with. To, to heal something because it's supposed to be a mirrored reflection, right? This really is a mirrored reality. You you mirror everything that you feel within, everything. Even the things that you're saying, like if you're insulting people and you're saying things, it's how you feel inside. That's why when people are saying these hurtful things, like you really need to give them compassion because it's kind of like a tell. People are telling what they feel inside. So some is, you know, these people that all say all these nasty things is because that's what they feel. They need healing. Have you ever heard that saying like, they need Jesus, they need God, right? You need to know that we are one with God divine source. We're made here in God's creation, right? We experience life through, for God, through God. We are one with God divine source energy, right? That's why everything is recorded, because everything's recorded through your eyes, through your senses, right? Through your mind. Process everything. Magician in the mirror, again, very strong energy. All right, well, I'm almost 40 minutes in 3844 is to say that i'm gonna close this out with contract is here see blindly for a lot of you you you're blindly in these contracts that you were not aware of for some of you these attachments came through the dreamscape for some of you you have to clear and break soul ties and they're going to be that were attached to you through dreamscape if you're dreaming of sexual encounters those are a sign of demonic spiritual attachments. Because sometimes they can use people. Some of you are like, you've ever heard the saying, like you're sleeping with the enemy? Because for some of you, not every human human here is a human. Yeah, because for a lot of you, they're walking demons. So for some of you, you're straight up just having sex and engaging in encounters with entities. Especially if their body's being treated as a host. Especially if they sold their soul. Especially if they, they're no longer there. They're an empty vessel. They're just getting channeled by dark forces, by entities. Just like how some of us, you know, you have to be to a high frequency to be able to channel spirit. I can already tell I've got some new higher vibrational summits that have been channeling through me. So 
for some of you that might be why I sound a little bit different because higher vibrational soulmates baby soulmates wow higher vibrational spirit guides coming through it's very beautiful so you could be noticing those things too for my channelers right hmm all right. So anyway, I'm going to close this out. I'm saying love and light to all of you. Definitely donate to me energetically just by liking the videos, commenting. The more you watch me, the more I feel your energy. Know that. And for those of you that are guided to me that would love to donate, I do have a cash app of, um, link available down below, but that's not for everybody. It's only if you're financially able to do so, right? Love and light to all of you. Bye.